Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back. Today we're on my Town Hall 8 account and we're going to talk about farming up to Crystal League. First of all, why would you do that? And I'm going to give you some tips on how to do it as well. Well, first of all, you're going to get an achievement when you get to Crystal League. You're going to get those gems. So if you haven't done it already, that's a reason right there. Another reason is you can find some great loot in Crystal League, mostly Dark Elixir. A lot of the bases you'll be raiding are higher Town Halls, like Town Hall 9s and Town Hall 10s, and they tend to have more Dark Elixir, and sometimes it's pretty easy to get if you search long enough and look for the perfect base. Now let me show you the perfect base. I found one just now, right here. This was perfect. Check it out. We've got max Dark Elixir drills, and they are full. I think they offer 1300 or 1350 Dark Elixir in each one when they're full. That's amazing. And of course, when you find full Dark Elixir drills, you're going to find good gold and elixir as well. So we're going to take it all. We only have 200 troops, of course. We're at Town Hall 8, but that's plenty to take out an inactive base like this. And we'll also get two stars because this guy has his Town Hall outside. So first things first, we are always going to snipe any buildings that are free and easy to take. Like that. Uh, usually in the corners is where you're going to look first. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to get up to about 8 or 9% and then I'm going to start the raid. Now as with any raid, any barch raid, I'm going to break the base into four parts. So this is a part right here, this is a part right here, and so on. So you're going to drop about a quarter of your barbs and a quarter of your archers on each side. It's that simple. You guys have seen me do this in all my videos, probably where I use barch, but uh, you know this is, this is it. This is my strategy. You know, you drop about... 15 to 20 barbs and 15 to 20 archers on each side that is plenty to take out even the first layer of the base if there's no mortars pounding on your troops and as you see here we took out all the buildings in the first layer because these mortars are all in the core this is a perfect base in many ways another reason is that the mortars are in the core and the expos are in the core so even if this base was active it wouldn't have bothered us none of that stuff would have really reached us um, here we go, we got uh, the last side here, we're going to throw down our remaining troops, we saved a few archers for the top here, and we should be able to get 50% even without using our Barb King and Clan Castle. So boom, perfect raid once again, we didn't you need to use spells, Clan Castle, heroes, or anything. Now we're just going to use the Clan Castle and the Barb King to get this uh, Town Hall. It's going to give us another like nine trophies, which is exactly what we need right now because at this point I was still in gold league, needed just a few more trophies to get into crystal. So I threw the rage spell down just to give it a little extra push. Uh, I had plenty of spells. I don't use spells often with this army. Uh, I would recommend you guys bring heal spells and rage spells. I bring heal because it helps you get into a base. If you find a, a rather weak, maybe say like a weak town hall eight or town hall nine, you can get into the base by throwing a heal spell on your barbarians. Barbarians respond well to a heal spell, they'll stay alive and break through walls. That's why I use heal spells. And rage spells, you can use those anytime, they're great for anything. So let's check out one more raid. Um, this is the other style of raid I would look for. I don't like to search much, so if I see easy dark elixir that I know I can get right here in these drills, and I know I can also get 50%, I'll take the raid. Um, this base is going to give me some trophies and a tiny bit of Dark Elixir, and that's good. That's what we want. I know I can get 50% because most of the buildings are on the outside. None of the mines and elixir pumps are inside. That's a good sign. The only thing that's inside are, are storages and most of the defenses. And that a base like that, you can almost always get 50% quite easily. So, of course, I have my... Barb King and Clan Castle just in case, but I probably won't need it. So first off, we're going to snipe buildings, and there's not a lot of snipeable buildings here, but we can get a few by taking out defenses. So right there, I took out that archer tower. Now I can take out all these buildings down here with just a few archers. I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to take out these defenses that are bunched up right next to each other. That's going to open up the base and allow me to snipe a few more buildings. This is all about using the least amount of troops we can because we want to save troops just in case, you know, uh, just in case we get towards like 45% and we need a few more buildings. So don't overuse your troops. That's definitely another tip you guys got to consider. So these are the easy buildings right here, uh, you know, mines, uh, barracks, builders huts. You got to take them all out though to get that 50%. 
Uh, we shouldn't have to worry too much about defenses, although we are taking a few defenses out here. That's good. Just more percentage. Oh, skeleton traps are so annoying. Whether you're farming or trophy pushing or in clan wars, skeleton traps are just killing me lately. Man, I don't know about you guys. I mean, I don't hear everybody complain about them, but I think they're terrible. They're, they're hard. They're hard to get by, but uh, I like them on defense. I like having them in my base. So we're at 44%, and like I was saying, we saved so many troops. We've still got like 40 troops left, and we, we barely are even going to need them. So we're going to drop Barb King here with a few barbs and archers behind, and boom, get that Dark Elixir, and peace out of here. That's it. So we got about 500 Dark Elixir from those drills. Hey, it's not crazy, but this is lazy Dark Elixir farming. We're not using spells anything we're just using a few barbs and a few archers we honestly probably didn't even need all of our troops there i used them all but at the end there i didn't need that many troops we could have saved a few which would have been always good because then you can raid again faster so we've got an army ready let's go in and find another raid first i'm going to queue up my troops i usually do one barrack of barbs and the rest archers so one barrack of barbs three barracks of archers you can mix this up a little bit some people like to have more barbs. Um, archers are good because they can shoot over walls, but they're a little weaker, so it's a trade-off. I also usually get a few minions, just because sometimes you can throw one minion on a building and defenses can't shoot it. Alright, 900 Dark Elixir that we can definitely get. What do you guys think? Um, we might have to split up our troops, though, because there's Dark Elixir on this end and Dark Elixir on that end in that drill. That's not a lot in that drill, but it might be 100. That's definitely going to make a difference, but really, I'd, I would hit this for 800. This is the type of common raid you're going to see. Not huge, not huge like Rockstar Dark Elixir that's 2,000 or 3,000. Most of the time, you're going to want to hit 700, 800 Dark Elixir that you know you can get. Those are the easy ones. Those are my bread and butter. That's really what I do the most on this account. So let's go ahead and take on this base. We're going to see if we can draw out the Clan Castle troops. Uh, yeah, it looks like we can. Ooh, he's got wizards in there. So many people have wizards in their clan castle. You gotta be careful with that. If you just go ahead and try to attack a base and wizards come out, they're really gonna devastate your troops. You wanna lead them out into the corner. It's the only way to deal with them. They are such a pain. I mean, they have pretty good health and they deal incredible damage. I don't know why everybody gives wizards nowadays, but they do. They, I see wizards so often in people's clan castles. So... You want to surround those troops, and you can use a lot of troops because after they're done, they're just going to go and start clearing up these buildings. So we can use a lot. There we go. All right, those troops are going to um, start, you know, start clearing the buildings, as I said. And then where are we going to start? I think we'll start on the Dark Elixir side. No, actually, we'll start on that side last. We'll go on the Dark Elixir side last with our King and Clan Castle. So first, we'll just throw down all these troops um, can we get in there and get that drill now I would really like to do that let's slowly throw in some archers you don't want to spam them too fast because there is splash damage defenses everywhere all right let's throw a hmm, rage spell I don't know this king is really stopping me right now all right we might have to come back to that so let's just get going on this side boom all right, we're going to save some troops. And as I said, boom, let's get in there. All right. Looking good. Yeah, we do have wizards in the clan castle, but anything that can shoot over walls would be fine here, as long as you use a heal spell. So, yeah, the Barb King will break in and get this. This is what you want to use. Uh, this, is, uh, this is what you want to attack. Bases that have Dark Elixir behind one wall. As I said, it's my bread and butter. Hey, we did get that other drill over here. My troops uh, got it after all. Great. And we got the easy 50%. I still have troops left over, so I'll just put them down here and get this extra elixir and gold. So see, that's it, guys. It's just those easy raids, and once in a while, you'll find a huge jackpot, like that first one I showed you. That's it. That's why you come to these higher leagues. It's not that much different. You'll see I'm still attacking a Town Hall 8 here. He's in Gold 1 League. It's not that much different than any other league, just sometimes you'll find higher level bases that have a ton of loot, and if you can get it, it definitely pays off. Also, we get a nice loot bonus here. What do we get? 
Um, it's not huge, but it's something. And 100 Dark Elixir, that's huge. That's awesome. For me as a Town Hall 8, 100 Dark Elixir every winning raid is awesome. And 35,000 Golden Elixir, not bad at all. So that's the merits of coming to Crystal League, guys. I would definitely recommend it. As I said, usually hit the easy bases, and sometimes you'll find the jackpot ones. Take those when you see them. You do want your Barb King when you can, but it's not necessary. You will get used to raiding without him if, if he's upgrading. It's not a big deal. Spells, as you see, I mean, I, t I use spells sometimes on the bases where I need to get a storage. But if it's just those inactive ones where I'm taking the drills, no spell needed so you can save them up. And that's it, guys. It's easy. You guys can do it, too. Let's, uh get this oh wow we get 250 gems for the crystal league achievement that's awesome we also have to do some walls so let's spend our gold boom one two three let's see two more all right ton of walls and that's it guys it's gonna be it for today if you like this video leave me a like and a comment and if you haven't subscribed already please do i hope you guys try this and come up to crystal league if you haven't already Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Peace!